What's up guys, welcome back for another episode of Ark Survival Evolved here on our fully evolved playthrough aberration kind of stuff and things. Uh, in the last episode, I don't even remember, man. I think we put the gas collector down. Uh, I've gone ahead and done some, uh, some gathering of the gas. Uh, is it this guy? No, it's this guy. Uh, has a bunch of the gas on him, along with some building materials that I have put together for us to be able to go and get a crab. Um, but in today's episode, I thought we would do a little bit of base building. And as you can tell by the movement of my very slow spike, uh, we have removed everything out of here with the exception of, get ready for this, all our food. Uh, our food is still here, but it's not very difficult to, to take. I'll just go to grab it like that. And I'll grab this egg because we have another one. Um, the plan is... Uh, I'm thirsty. That's plan number one. The plan is... Um, probably you. Yeah. Put all that stuff in there. And I have... This meat to come with me? Yeah, that looks okay. So the plan is I'm going to tear this all down. And I'm kind of disappointed because I was going to try and incorporate it into the base... But I think I want to push the base over towards the wall more and then closer to this little indent up here. Uh, I've gone ahead and gathered up all of the things that we're going to need and made in mass amounts. Things that we're going to need to generate a new base. Um, that's This this chest here is all uh, building building materials and this stuff is all water pipes, tanks, storage boxes, all that stuff that we're going to need. Um, so I'm going to get to work on that today. We've got our, our door pushed way out there, spike walled off so that we're nice and safe back here. Uh, I did incorporate both of the plant species Z plants into this base build so that we can acquire better healing for our dinos when we're coming back from stuff. But for the time being, man, it's, uh, it's demo mode. So, hmm. Now the big thing is here... Uh, we, we have to come up with a base design that's going to work. Now, I had one that was in mind. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use it. Because I don't think it's going to accomplish what I want it to accomplish as far as the base goes. I'm going to be super burdened, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to grab another dino to bring over here with me. Uh, what do you have on you? Nothing. You are our new friend. Let's go. Jump! We've done it. Uh, so yeah, I had a I had a base design in mind. Uh, it's not going to do. Oh, there's more stone in you. Interesting. It's not going to do everything that I wanted it to do. So we're going to have to come up with something a little different now. Uh, for this build, did I get everything out of here? Yeah. For this build, I think I'm going to try and be a little more creative architecturally rather than just worrying about form. Or, or, pardon me, function. I'm going to concentrate a little more on form. Uh, our function will still be one of the main priorities, but I'd like this base to look better than the average square box that I usually make. Um, is there still spark powder in here? No. Uh, that is just super functional and nothing else. Uh, I kind of don't want to get rid of this water just yet, so I'm not going to, and it's not going to be in our way for right now, I don't think. Hmm... Yeah, it kind of is, isn't it? Shoot, that's okay. Let's leave it there for now. Like I said, uh, I kind of want to just... Can we squirt all of you in there? You're okay for weight. You're all right. Um, let's just keep you with us. I want to get some foundations put down. Like I said, I kind of want to start over on this side more. And I had an idea... Mm, yeah. Let's grab some foundations and just get a floor plan put down. Can we grab, can we carry all of these? We sure can. Uh, and I know I said in this map I was going to be building out of metal. Uh, I think I am just going to stick with the stone for right now. So, uh, here's, here's what I've got going on. Can I move faster on you? Well, kind of. Um... So we're going to come in through the main gate here. We've got our Healy plant over there. We've got a Healy plant over there. There's a small amount of wood that spawns in that area and stone and fibrous plant material. I don't want to screw with that. So I kind of want to keep the base over on this side. Now, I'm thinking right here. Um, it, it actually is a fairly flat piece of land. It kind of s is higher on this side and slopes this way. And then kind of it's kind of like a bowl. So I'm going to put the first foundation here. 
And we're going to go this way a little bit. What do we got there? One, two, three, four. That's not enough. We've got 50 foundations. I kind of don't want to go five and then ten. I'd kind of like to do like a five, maybe. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five. Can we do a five by five? So that would be like this. This would be a nice, a nice big-ish platform for us, and I know the plants are in there, but don't worry, I'll gather them up later with a sickle. Or, a, oh no, we can't be doing stuff like that. Okay, so there's a five by. What does that give us? Hmm, kind of smallish area to be perfectly honest, but I think it'll be okay. And then what we're gonna do is we'll have like a hangar kind of deal over this side. Hmm, let's go this way a little more with it. Uh, that was weird, but I'll take it. And then we're pretty much ground level with these foundations at this point, aren't we? Yeah, pretty much. So that's as far over this way as I'm going to go. I think what I might do is I might set up a big spot right here and put our industrial forge right here. That would be okay. And I, I do kind of... I want a, a small-er-ish hangar area. Not huge, though. There's no real need for it. We'll put up a couple of defense turrets and stuff like that. Uh, it got dark here all of a sudden. Where is my... Oh. Just like so, so you guys can see a little better. Um, so, yeah, I think that's gonna... What do we got left? 14 foundations? I mean, we may as well go this way. Can I go this way? I can. Uh... These earthquakes, by the way, are a giant pain in my butt. Kind of don't know what to do. Okay, let's, nope. Let's go. Nope. This way. Three, four, and five, and we've got three left, and that's what we're gonna be left with is another three so that's what we're going to have it's kind of a, a decent ish pad style area again i kind of want to make it that there's an industrial forge over here so we need to keep that in mind that's going to be one two three over this way and i kind of want to have access to it so we're going to be putting the workshop area back here uh over this side now let's grab can, can we stop shaking around, please? That would be amazing. I kind of want to get the water set up right away, but at the same time, the water can just... It can wait till the very last thing. I'm really not super concerned about hiding the pipes and all that stuff. Um, I would kind of like to stick them under the ground, but I think what's going to happen is there... If we have the workshop here, I'm probably just going to hang them off the back of the base. It's very similar to what's over there. Let's grab um, this stuff... Mm, this, not so much right now. Crops, not so much. Eh, and some boxes. Let's see if we can get some of this set up the way that it would be. Now, in order to do this productively, what we have to do is we have to picture how we would be coming into the base. So we'd be coming in here, and we'd want to unload into an area. And if we've got a bunch of metal, which I'm assuming I'm going to get over there from the cave area, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to unload it here. So our workshop area-ish is going to be right here. That means that the fabricator is probably the thing that's going to be in this area. So we want to unload into the fabricator. Uh, that's pretty decent. Mm, maybe just a touch that way. Yeah, touch back that way. There we go. So I'm going to go right here with the fabricator. And then what we're going to do is we want to have an area... Uh, right next to the fabricator where we can also move stuff and we're going to do the smithy because it's it may as well be right next to the fabricator uh, We want to try and keep all this in a generalized Area, but at the same time I think what I might want to do is sneak a storage chest in between the two of them so something like this and then something like this we get up here go into K mode Turn it to the Yes, just like that. So, not, not uh, I, I want to try and keep it compact. Can I get these out of here? I want to try and keep it compact because I want area to be able to move around and do things. Um, please? Oh, I had you there. Awesome. Um, but at the same time, I want to be able to do everything else, too. Now, we're going to have a cooker, an industrial cooker. Um, I kind of want to put... 
Hmm. We're going to stick the metal out there. Let's drop a uh, another storage chest right here. Uh, and just a little bit this way. And like so. Yeah, and then what we can do is if, if we do put that industrial forge right here, we can just unload right into this chest. We'll put like a window here or something. Okay, so that's uh, that's part of the crafting room. Oh, I didn't make a bed. We're going to need another bed. That's part of the crafting room sorted out. Uh, we are going to have to put down a couple of these for right now. I don't have anything to make fridges and whatnot, but all that's going to happen, I would assume that's going to come up this way. Uh, I do want to put plants down, too, so that's all going to have to have a spot. So for right now, let's try and envision the rest of this. Should we put storage... What else do we have to put down for crafting stuff? Really nothing. These uh, these mortar and pestles, I, I'm actually pretty mm, pretty sure what we're going to do is we're going to go like this with them. And just squirt them right in front of here. Just until we get a chemistry bench up and online. And that is going to be a little bit. I mean, I've got a lot of work to do before a chemistry bench can come in here. I don't like that one. I pick up. And this one. And this one. I think they're a little too far ahead. So like this. Nope, please. Thank you. And like so. And then like so. Now, in, in a previous playthrough, and I keep reflecting back to the stuff that you guys haven't seen, but when I was on, when I was on official, I had, I think it was six mortar and pestles in front of my fa my fabricator because well you just you didn't I was trying to squeeze everything in it was a very similar layout to what I've got going on here uh, now we need more storage uh, storage is going to have to I should probably have two more uh, storage is going to be a thing that's going to go right here I think and for this what we want to do really is we want to get the first one lined up really really well so this way just a touch and hmm yeah, that looks pretty good. Do we have these on our bar? We do. Okay, so... Like so, and then... Like this. Let's put one more. Okay, four of them right there. Next to the smithy. Then we've got the one in between the fabricator and the smithy. We've got the one over here that's just going to be straight up for metal. Um, what else are we going to need? Actually, I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just leave those the way they are. Uh, I'm going to pop one, uh, hello, one of these guys down, just one for right now, and I'm going to put it right here because I really don't have anywhere else for it. Is that a good-ish spot? Yeah, it's a pretty decent-ish spot. And it's close to the mortar and pestles. So that way we can get the, uh, the spark powder in there relatively quickly. Now... What else do I have? I have some forges. Now, the forges are going to have to go close to this stuff for right now. Uh, I want to keep it that it's within reach and easily unloadable. So I'm thinking right here is probably going to be the place for it. So if I go one, two... I want to be able to access this. And the forges. So three... And then four. Like that. Yeah, I can access all the forges now from right there. That's perfect, and it makes this little area right here. Now, we're going to have to have the water come in here, and I'll lay the water here in just a second. Actually, why don't we put the water pipe down right now? Okay, what else do I have in here? Just my tools. Uh, so let's put... We're going to need one of these guys and one of these guys... And we'll throw down one of these guys because we're going to need it relatively soon. Also, where is the feeding trough? Give me one of those. All right. And then we'll get some walls put down. So for this, uh, where are we going to want our water to be? I'm thinking if I go right here. And I'm going to put this right here so I can get to it quickly. So if I go right like this. Then we can put our water right here. And 
where does that go? Should have really looked at all this and had it ready to go. So give me these. And put them here. Okay. Can I move? Thank you. Yeah, that's actually pretty decent. I'm okay with that. And then it can hide underneath. Man, I wish I could see it. I'm assuming it's it's snapped right there. But there's no real way for me to... Can I get under the ground? Can I see? Ladies and gentlemen, this is unbelievable. I can't see. Okay, that's fine. That looks like a blue drop up there. Let's go grab that real quick, and then I'll probably BRBs while I get the rest of this set up. But yeah, like I said, I think what we'll do is we'll just have the um, the water spitting out here in the back. Uh, let me squirt this stuff back in here. Mm, this can go here. This can go here. This can go here. Okay. Now, we've got a... Not what I wanted. How heavy are you, homie? You're not too bad. Let's go. And we'll squirt down that feeding trough and start putting up some walls. Uh, right here. Yes, please. Send me up. Excuse me, tree. Excuse me. Thank you. Tree was in the way. Oh, guys, there's no blue. Oh, it is a blue drop. How interesting. It's the light from the blue zone and the blue drop. Amazing. Did we find anything decent? Uh, water jar blueprint, dino gate. We actually know all these. Uh, I did find a blueprint. I can't remember if you guys were with me for uh, a pick a as well as a sickle. So, I mean, those are things. None of them are very good. I think the pick was 150. And the sickle was like 107 or something like that. It's nothing nothing crazy, nothing great. But it's enough to, you know, that we've got something. Another blue drop over here, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, children of all ages. Uh, Gilly gloves, yes please, with 50 armor on them. That's pretty good. That's almost as good as flak, if I remember correctly. Pardon me, need a drink. Incredible. Speaking of drink, let's have one. Thank you. Let's jump up here. Okay. So now, a feeding trough. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this area over here kind of as a, um, a safe haven place for our dinos that can't actually fit, or that, well, they don't really fit outside. Uh, I'm going to be coming in with probably a drake right about here-ish. I'm thinking this is going to be a good spot for this. And, of course, we can move it later on if need be. So that's where we're going to go with that. Also, I kind of want to put uh, the food area close to the feeding trough where we're going to be cooking food. Uh, so I'm going to squirt this right here. And, actually, while we are doing this, my brain is just... I'm, I'm cooking along here, guys. My brain is thinking of things. Uh, what What is this? Shrag rub, rug that no one cares about. Uh, and this needs to go... Uh, let's put it in here for right now. Uh, let's pop this bad boy over here next to where the fire is. Now, we're going to have one, two, three, four fires, and then we'll put this thing. And I actually don't think we're going to need more than one of these. I think one is going to be plenty for right now. But I kind of would like to get into uh, kibble. So we're going to make one used for kibble. All right. Uh, what have we got left over here to actually place down as far as furniture and things go? Uh, more fireplaces. I'm going to have a, a crop thing in the upper stairs part of the base. Uh, water we're not super worried about, so we'll just squirt down the rest of these fireplaces. And let's grab some... Let's see. What do we need? We need two dino gates. Um, and let's take a half stack of walls. Can we get away with that? Yeah, we can. You know why? Because... We do not neglect leg day, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we can get away with this. Uh, we're going to squirt down the walls first, uh, right after we put down some of this stuff. Now, I did kind of screw this up. Mm, can I pick this up right away? No. I did kind of screw this up, because what we should have is we should have a way in, and it should go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It should go seven. I should go another two this way. Hmm stuff to work on maybe we should go this way a little more too this way uh two more and this way two more make it nine yeah that's what we'll do i'm gonna go grab the materials do you have the materials on you like wood and thatch and 
stone uh, to make... Ooh, a handful more. Yeah, okay. I'm good with that. You're annoying. Yep. Annoying. Uh, I'm super fat. Uh, and it needs to be... I'm going to go three. One, two, three. Door here, like so. Yeah, we kind of screwed this up, guys. I kind of screwed it up, I'm not going to lie. I've got too much weight on me. Uh, I'll make some more foundations here in a minute. It'll just it, it's it's good to have an idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it go too wide is the width of the door. I'd like one on the side. So one and then the door and then another one that we don't need. This 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 one actually doesn't need to be here. Oh, we just missed it. We just missed it. It's okay. It's okay. It's a little waste of resources. So yeah, uh, one on the side, a door, one on the side, and a door. So our dino gate is going to end up over there somewhere. So we can put, uh, I'd actually like a door door right there. So let's go like this. No, you are incorrect, my friend. No, you are once again incorrect, my friend. Uh, so yeah, like so. Then maybe what we'll do is we'll put the dino door there and have the extra one on this side. Yes. Yes, I think so. So one, two, three, and it actually is going to be here, but I want to make it a door. Like so. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. I think... I think this is going to work out okay. Can I get up there? No, of course I can't. Got to walk all the way around this stuff in order to get outside of my own base. Okay. I'm feeling it. Nope. 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 No. No. Give me the... Give me the damn wall. Thank you. God. Okay, so right here we're going to have a window. Actually, we could just put the window here. Unload right into the fabricator. Yeah, let's do that. Oh no, it sticks out the side. It's okay. Like so and like so. And we'll have to have a front entryway into this place here at some point for some things. Maybe a double door, a double double door. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Well, isn't that cool? Check these guys out. So these guys have green on them. What's that from? Must just be from the like, biome kind of placement deal thing. And we're going to have to go four high in this particular junction spot. I hope I have enough walls for the build of this base. I'm going to be perfectly honest. And of course, this is me just boxing it in. And I've got all kinds of other stuff to make it look pretty. But for the time being, this is what it's going to be. Uh, this feeding trough could have actually went over there. All right, guys, I'm going to keep placing some stuff down. I'll BRBs as soon as I have uh, some more of this ready to go. Probably a lot more of it. Uh, don't go away. And we're back. Okay, guys, so I've gone ahead and I put some stuff down. Now, I finished this up. You guys saw all this. Uh, I did put the walls up. I put in another feeding trough over here next to this door, which is, you know, kind of stuff and things. Um, I did remove the feeding trough over here. I think over there is going to be a better spot for it. Um, I made an upstairs with a way up and a way down, and this is where we're going to be putting our uh, crops and whatnot. And then at a later date, I am going to be attaching to one of these water pipes, probably one outside so I don't have to look at it. I'd like to put a cooking pot probably right here. Now, the food production area uh i'm thinking this corner over here might be a good spot for it because we come in with whatever it is we unload the food into this spot and away we go now it needs some sprucing up like it's um hmm, what's what's the best way to put this it's uh, no it's it's rough guys like i didn't put any of the greenhouse stuff down now that's gonna have to happen because i have the greenhouse stuff and it's gonna go up there i also did this water tower over here and i did de-render it to make sure it was gonna produce water however none of the what what 
six, nine tanks that I can see. I can't see the three, you know, like the second, second ones from the bottom, uh, from the top. I can't see those three, but there is water pouring out of the spout up top. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be doing what we need. Actually, I think I might make a little walkway out here. A little area kind of place. You know what I mean? You guys can come with me for that. I only have one more foundation. That's okay, man. We'll make it out of uh, ceilings, and then I'll drop some walls. So let's make, like, a little porch area. Like this, like this, like this, like this. Yeah, like this, man. Can, can I? Yeah. There we go. So we'll go like that. I'm thinking... Mm, yeah, one more, like so. And then I think what we'll do is we'll build some kind of a deal up around here to protect these water towers. Uh, I did make some fen uh, some uh, railings. You did see that. Uh, I think I'll make some stone railings for around that outside foundation area kind of deal. Just a little, you know, a little deck kind of wrap around. Can we make it a wrap around? No, we can't really make it a wrap around, not without doing some serious re uh, reevaluating of what we're doing here. But yeah, I did make that. Hmm... So, by the next episode, I'll have it spruced up a little more, and I'll show it off to you guys. Like I said, I still have the greenhouse stuff. Uh, hungry. And five. Uh, that I want to show off. Everything that we have tamed, except for the roll rat, will fit into here right now. But like I said, I'm not really concerned about fitting the dinos in here that don't fit through a dino gate. Okay. That was weird stuff. Uh, because we have this area sectioned off, so I think I'm going to just park them like over in this-ish area anyway. The roll rat's just going to run around, grab that wood. There's a little bit of fungal wood that'll respawn back there now that I've pulled up this foundation. And, uh, and we'll be all set for that stuff. Uh, also, our zip line still goes down to the river for the gas. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of gas balls, and I can make up those suits. I think in the next episode, we're going to go crab taming, so that way we can... What is this dude going on about? What are you? An Iguanodon, level 20, into a fight with probably my spike wall. Anyway, in the next episode, I think we're going to do crab taming. So that way we can start getting some metal things going. But that's going to be it for me for today, guys. We built the base today, uh, at least the starter version of the base. I still think I might come over a little more one side or the other with a hatchery because we're going to have some... Um, we're going to have some things to hatch. The goal on here is to go get a rock drake, and uh, and also we're going to have to have uh, a, a chamber set up so that we can do uh, the whole thing with uh, a reaper. So uh, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys very much for coming to hang out with me. I really do appreciate it. That's not what I want, any of that. Can I go like this and then like this? That's not bad, right? I mean, that works. Then we can just walk up here. Oh, yeah, baby. I did it. Have a great rest of your day, guys. GG's. I'll see you in the next episode. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Bye.